You know what I love as much as anime? Video games. Yes, video games. Surprising, I know. Don't tell anybody. But today, and let me wait, let me, let me add, what I love as much as video games is the genres of horror and mystery when it comes to video games and anime and, you know, action and all. When it comes to anime, anyway, that's, that's, that's a different thing. Anyway, when it comes to video games, genre, hist uh, horror and mystery, I love it. Good stuff. Um, today, we are going to check out apparently the most disturbing video game mystery. And it's by the YouTube channel Jolt. Now, I have never heard of this channel. I've never seen their work, but I am curious. So as always, link to their channel and link to the video that we're going to watch will both be in the description below. So may you be sure to check out Jolt for yourself. They do have other, other videos up, but it seems like they're fairly new. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have, they're making good content. So go check them out. Go help them out. Go say hi. And yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's explore the most disturbing video game mystery by Jolt. What is a video game mystery? Mystery with a video game? Uh, it's an unsolved, often strange aspect of a game waiting to be discovered by curious players. Okay. These mysteries can take the form of unexplained events, unsolved puzzles, mm. or hidden content, sometimes things players were never meant to find. Almost, almost, almost like FNAF. You know, why, or what, what's haunting the animatronics when it first came out? What's haunting these animatronics? What's causing these animatronics to go haywire? And then we find the little crying child. Why is that kid crying? What happened to those kids? Where are they missing? What's going on? And then you find out that the kids are possessing the animatronics. <gasps> oh no, oh my good golly gosh. And then, you know, we find out, you go down a mystery, huh? see what I did there, of why, the, uh, why Afton's doing all this and why, is, why what's going on and yeah. They exist as anomalies, fragments that defy explanation, fueling speculation and spawning urban legends within gaming communities. For diehard players, uncovering these secrets become an obsession. Mm. And among the countless obscure mysteries out there, one stands out. The hell is that? One that captivated me What's to up? my very core. It's good. What says it? Five Nights at Freddy's. No, that's too mainstream. The footage you're watching is from an indie horror game called Haunting 2. You the haunt. You know what is? I know the Atari. You know what is great about the gaming industry right now? is the rise of the individual creators. These, the, not the big gaming companies that are, you know, they're trying to appease the, com appease other companies or DEI inclusion, but these indie creators are just like, I don't need anyone's permission to, to do my thing. I just do my thing. That's what, at least they give off that feeling. And so you get some of the most interesting and intriguing video games from these indie creators, like so, and some of the most disturbing ones. So I am a huge fan of indie game creators, and I am looking forward to what they have to offer in the future. A Japanese RPG maker title developed by Paya. Hmm. As the name suggests, this game Aya, is a uh... sequel not directly continuing from where it first left off. Though, admittedly, I'm not too familiar with the original storyline. To well, give you a you brief be, you summary, have to be. both games center around characters experiencing supernatural hauntings that gradually take a toll on their lives. Hmm. In Haunting 2, we follow Kirita Nishizune, the main protagonist, as she visits a research facility to retrieve a few belongings she has left behind. However, she's completely oblivious to the fact that every researcher has mysteriously vanished, leaving behind a bleak silence. Where did they go? That's for us to uncover. So the place is like abandoned 
or maybe it's like um maybe it's not abandoned and she and if, and maybe at first she doesn't know it's abandoned and like while she's walking around we don't know why she's there but while she's walking around and she's like where is everybody da 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 or maybe she's wait they just told me. I, don't I don't know I don't know I don't know I wonder what happened to everybody After collecting her things, Shizune returns home, unknowingly carrying demons back with her. What follows is a descent into chaos. The demons begin possessing her mother and friends, oh, shit. spreading madness to anyone they encounter, as everything begins to go haywire. The game stands out with its eerie, immersive storytelling and unsettling use of realistic imagery during haunting sequences. An artistic choice oh. that feels both bizarre and terrifying. Unfortunately, it almost uh, the the use of um, realistic imagery it reminds me of there's a, a FNAF fan made game where they you know how in the FNAF games they had like missing children's posters. Well, in the FNAF fan made one. They used actual real life children miss child missing posters, which kind of made it more, more more disturbing, and people had a little problem with that. So um, I know content and in indie creators have to be careful if they're going to use like more real life imagery. It's probably going to be like the game devs themselves or people they know that that are okay with doing it instead of just like actual you know missing child posters type things, but. It's always a, a nice add a add on when when uh indie de devs use like kind of realistic uh, footage or content in uh, horror games. Fortunately, Haunting Two was never localized, meaning it lacks an English translation, mm. forcing players to interpret the story as they play. The mystery hidden within this game has no connection to the story, but lies within a peculiar glitch. This glitch causes the game to crash entirely. Huh. To trigger it, the player must pass through a specific gate in a certain area. However, this strange occurrence serves no purpose other than being a nuisance, forcing the player to close the game completely and reopen it to continue their adventure. So why is that a mi that is a mystery, but why is it there? Was it I, I, this I'm image is admittedly real. unsettling. The sight of a decaying woman's body is one that lingers with you. Given how obscure and rarely played this game is, it's not out of the question that this could be an authentic image. What makes it even stranger is that throughout the series' entire runtime, no other area contains this specific game ending glitch, mm. suggesting it may have been intentional. Additionally, the game's frequent use of realistic real-world imagery gives further weight to the idea that this was done deliberately. Is that a Titan? World imagery gives further weight to the No, it's not a Titan. ...idea that this was done deliberately. However, unlike other scenes in the game, this image stands out for its deeply eerie nature. Mm. Well, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's during a random game crash that it's only triggered by going through a random gate for whatever reason. So, I've, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a mystery, but like, also it's like, um, I, I also doubt like companies would use multiple types of images. So I'm sure like they use like solo images, random images for every, for each encounter or each, each thing. So that part that is not surprising why it's like where, where why they're like this image is only on this. It's like, okay, yeah, there's a lot of images that are only like that only show up or during certain events. So there's no that's no, you know, mystery, but it's like, why is it I guess the mystery is more of is there a meaning of of uh there being a decaying woman at, as the image for going through those gates and is like the dev developer trying to tell us something 
did they do something or are they trying to let they trying to hide a message that they you know how people who have committed crimes or that know about crimes but are, aren't supposed to tell anything they try to tell other people through different means so it's it's kind of like that but um also again why is there a random crash when you go through a gate is there a meaning behind the crash behind happening because you go through a gate as well um maybe it's like um maybe you have to know more about japanese uh, culture for to understand the meaning behind the crash itself happening after you go through a certain gate i don't know Around 5 p.m. on the 24th of March, 2014, a user named You're Not Real made a post titled I am real. At first, I thought Where it was I? part of the game. The post included an imager link documenting their experience. I can't seem to progress any further in the game due to this message. Almost seems like an error report. Screen goes black and flashes a white screen four times. This image appears. Jarring noise plays non-stop. The game stays like this until I click quit. I don't think this is how the game is supposed to end. To trigger mm. this glitch, you supposedly have to pass through every single Tori gate in the area. A highly specific sequence of actions, which casts a doubt on it being an unintentional bug. Instead, it seems far more plausible that it is an intentional feature disguised as a glitch. If we're ever going to find answers, we need to understand what's truly happening when it occurs. Analyzing the screenshot shared by the OP yeah, I need to translate that. B reveals that much of the text is a garbled up mess. A common issue when running a program in the wrong system locale. Noticing this, other investigators suggested changing the system language from English to Japanese, hoping the missing characters would fill in the gaps. Mm. The OP followed this advice and later posted an update on the thread, giving us the next clue in unraveling the mystery. Small update, I changed my system locale to Japan. As Raveler suggested, it didn't seem to fix the bug, but the text seemed to display correctly. Here's the third image with the actual Japanese characters. Maybe you guys can translate again? In a short amount of time, a user by the name of It's Rain Time provided the translation to this jumbled up text. Please confirm. Location, date, Yutahan, no Tatari 2. Severing the arm. Severing the, the data arm. is being damaged. Possibility is, ah, please stop. Huh. Yutano, I will kill you. You get the idea. With this newfound co uh, error frame process, can't really read because it's so garbled. Uh, a system error is occurring. Your face around interior three is turning is turning slash warping. Not sure about this one. Uh, the buttons input courage three repeating uh, confirm uh, gy. At a Utano, no. Hmm. I will kill you. You get the idea. With this newfound context, it feels less like a glitch and more like an Easter egg intentionally left by the developers. Considering this is a horror game that uses real world imagery, it's not far fetched to think that this glitch was designed solely to unsettle the player. But even with this context, one question still lingers. Where Why? did this image come from? Oh, there's more questions, more than one question in my opinion. Reverse searching the image yields absolutely nothing. Adding to the mystery, perhaps this was a glitch no one was ever supposed to encounter. Regardless of the reason or motive for its inclusion, no, no, the no. image is- No, no, I, I definitely think someone was supposed to encounter it because like I said before, um we don't since we don't know what the image is or the reason for the image like there's it, let's say and i'm not saying this is the reason but let's say there was a it was a crime that somebody committed and they want or something so that somebody knew and they wanted to tell 
at someone, but they couldn't. They're not supposed to. So they hit it in something like this. And that is uh that could be the reason or whatever. There's um there's definitely uh if if nobody knows yet, then the whoever the dev is <sighs> excuse me. Whoever the dev is, they um are still waiting for someone to figure it out. They're still waiting for someone to understand what's going on. People like to do um people like even if it's not like a crime that somebody's just trying to show, people like to have uh, mysteries and, uh, put into the work that they do sometimes, and they wait for people to find out. Maybe there's a mystery in this video that you're watching. I'm not talking about the video that I'm watching that I'm reacting to, uh, the video that you're watching of me reacting to this video. Yeah, exception. Wink one that will stay with me for a long time and honestly i just hope it isn't what i fear it might be mm. that was a good video it was a good video um but i still think there is a reason behind it i don't think it's just random like, uh, I still think the dev developer is trying to tell something, um, or maybe it is random and they just wanted to, you know, uh, they, well, maybe you have to know, like I said before about more about Japanese culture to know why going through all the Tory gates in a specific area creates that glitch, which shows that image. Like maybe you have to know something more about Japanese culture to figure it out. I don't know, but that was a pretty good video. So as always, um, be sure to check out Jolt, the YouTube channel. Link will be in the description below. And uh, while you're over there checking out, uh, while you're over there visiting Jolt's channel, be sure to do those three things that I like to ask you to do. And like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos. Yeah. And you know what it is after that, in case I don't see you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace and much love to you.